Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the planning and joining board meeting. I'd like to ask everyone to stand and pledge allegiance to the flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Public notice of this meeting pursuant to the Open Public Meeting Act has been given by the clerk in the following manner. Posted on the bulletin board in the borough clerk's office, emailed to the retrospect and the carrier post. Can we have roll call, please? Uh, Chair Walker, please have roll Yes. Mr. Offerly? Here. Ms. Gushin? Here. Mr. Pachowski? Here. Mr. Vanella? Here. Mr. Stone? Here. Mr. Lerardi? Here. Mayor Capatas? Here. Mr. Veneri? Here. Mr. White? Here. Mr. Rowan? Here. Mr. Pettit? Is excused? And Mr. Knight? Here. Thank you. Uh, I have to add Ms. Dodds, which I think yes. I should. Oh. She is here. I'm here. Mary is here. All right, thank you. Uh, the next thing we have is approval of the minutes of the meeting of May 9th. Are there any questions on the minutes? I make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. Motion is made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Motion approved. Nothing on old business. Uh, new business, we have an application for a bulk variance for one Cali court. You want to come on up? Then I'm assuming it's Mr. Grasso. Yeah. We're going to be hearing from this evening. Please come and state your name and address up at the microphone, please. Salvatore Grasso, one Cali court, one in New Jersey. Sal, would you raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give this board tonight is truthful and accurate? Yes, you're not. So just what I want to do is that, yeah. okay, this yeah. is my first one. So it's okay. um, we want to move the, the privacy fence over to a large front yard for our children. That side of yard over on Davis is unusable because of the traffic. So we just want to enlarge it for, you know, for private use for our kids. Can I ask a quick question? Do you intend to line it up with the fence of the neighbor who's directly behind you? Is yes. that your thought process? That's the thought process. I take care of the mulch bed behind it and I um, had trees removed, um, and we, I did it. Um, he doesn't really take care of back there. Yeah. And uh, yes, I designed, that's, that's the plan to come right off of that. Just follow it. Make it one, one seamless, uh, continual fence. And you won't go past the front of your, to your house? Correct. I just want to come directly off where it is, two feet from the uh, sidewalk and straight back. No, no further towards the front of the house, off the, off the right side. Uh, just for everyone, I mean, I, I, I'm your neighbor, I live down the street. Okay. So uh, I drove by this evening, just to let everybody know. Um, Davis is an unusual street because it's one of those situations in where way, which way does the house face? Does the house face Davis or does the house face Cali Court? In this situation, his house faces Cali Court. So does all the other houses face Cali Court. None of them face Davis. And the, the house in Barrington is directly behind him also does not face Davis. Yeah, it faces the other in the court. It faces yeah. the court. So in this particular case, it's not like his side yard is someone's front yard. Mm -hmm. So it's like his his side yard is someone else's side yard, right? Or is it the rear yard? The rear yard. That's the my, rear yard. My, my side yard is exclusive to, my, to me and people driving by. And that's so, his rear yard. Yeah, so we don't, we back up uh, backyard to backyard, not side yard to backyard, just backyard, backyard to backyard. backyard. So that's the only thing. And, and once again, as you guys know about the, you know, the idea that we, we interpret the law as a corner property as two front yards. Correct. But in this, like I said, in this case, he's still, that's why he's here, because it's interpreted as two front yards. But in this particular case, um, I'm just pointing out that the other neighbor, it's his rear yard to rear yard. Yeah. So that makes this a little bit different. Okay. But the board also should consider well, with Mr. Grasso's application is he can install a fence within two feet of the edge of the existing sidewalk along Davis. But our ordinance also says that when it is a, is a corner lot, there's a four foot restriction. So even though it's existing six foot, foot now, I would suggest that we grant him an easement to permit the moving of the six foot fence within two feet of the, of the side yard. And our ordinance also says with front yard fences, they can't, they have to be see-through or so, and, and another ordinance to permit the Another variance. Style, the variance to, to, uh, to permit the continued use of the style of the 
the side of the fence that he has there. So what he's asking for is three separate variances? Is that what he's He is permitted to have it within two feet okay. of the fence. So it's only two feet. Yeah, the, the ordinance does say that the, uh, no closer than two feet from the edge of the side. If so it's see-through. If it's see-through. Right, yeah. uh, and I know it's obviously it's pre-existing, but he's moving it, so I would suggest that we uh, grant uh, a variance to permit six foot along the If we. If, if you, if you do, do we have any problem with it? Suggested. And that we permit an opaque fence. Do we have any problem with the advertisement? Uh, the how, how would you advertise it already? Regarding a variance, um, what did that say? It just said variance. Look, look, look at the advertisement. Is variance application to Mississippi Environments for moving his vinyl project to fence in his backyard to two feet off the sidewalk on Davis Road? That's already permitted, but if you consider it, we consider it a variance application. Uh, the best process would be that he specifically enumerate the variances that he's going for. But if it's just, if he did mention it's a variance application, I think the board so it's all consider, kind of stuff. The board could consider acting on that. Okay, cool. He didn't need a variance to move no. conforming factors in two feet of That's what Mr. Advertisement was as it should be. I, it could have been broader, but does it satisfy, I think, the intent? Exactly. I, I think okay, thank you. So does anyone, uh, I talked to Mr. Pettit today and um, to see if he had a review letter that we needed to go through, and he did not. Um, it was a pretty straightforward um, application. And um, I guess, who's going to be doing the work, sir? Uh, I haven't decided yet. Okay. And Mr. Knight, have you told him he has to get permits and whatnot? Yes, sir. Oh, absolutely, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we need, I need a permit to move the fence as well? Yeah, yeah. correct. Okay. And, and what I would suggest that whoever you choose, maybe he can stake it out so that Mr. Uh, at night can go out to make sure it is within two feet of the night. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be doing it. I'm going to have a profound fence yeah. guy do it. What, we, what, the, what the board hate or we hate to see is they install it, oh, it's one foot off the side. Of the no, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. So, so you have it marked out, call for inspection prior yeah. to the installation. Okay, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure that wherever I choose, it's a professional guy. He yeah. knows. Yeah, but don't be sure. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. 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 All right, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Of course, that, yeah. we, that he contacted. We've okay. had yeah. people that had their, their yeah. fence taken so down. Know it's two feet. Okay, so it's two feet from the sidewalk. The, the, sidewalk. the edge of the sidewalk to the inner, the outer post or the inside post? Uh, I, I would say out of post. Out of post, okay. From, uh, okay, so two, okay. two feet in solid fence. Okay. So the, I just had one notation. Uh, looking at your survey, it shows that the vinyl fence isn't right on your property line in the rear. Yeah, so I know. Why your so fence I, is about four feet off the property exactly. line? Yes. I mean, the only reason I bring it up here, that also causes problems sometimes because who's responsible for that no man's land mm -hmm. in between your fence and where your property is? So yeah, and you notice that. When you yeah, my neighbor's right? property is actually a little bit. His fence is a little bit on mine too. So it's in, being the way our property was set up. I I, I take care of that portion anyway. So it's I don't you know. Is that why the sidewalk short there too? I have no idea why. The sidewalk short. I don't know why the sidewalk short. Doesn't require sidewalk. Well, you know what I'm saying? It looks like the sidewalk and within the current fence line. I that looks like there's an apron there too. There is an apron there. I'm not sure why. I mean, I purchased the property. Uh, it was yeah. Uh, I moved. Yeah, we purchased it in February. Okay. I mean, the house is ten years old, so it's. Right. Yeah. You looking at the survey? You think that's apron short from the property line? Actually, looking at the picture. Oh, I'm looking at the survey. I'm looking at the survey and the picture. Well, that's what I'm saying. The you're saying that the sidewalk goes past the fence by eight feet? No, stop short. Up short of the Barrington House's fence. That's what he's saying. There's that no man. Yes, yeah. On the survey, it shows it going almost to the edge. You look at the. Are you moving the fence back also? No, I'm, 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 no. We, my my neighbor tied into I believe my fence, and um, that's a little cutout area. Yeah, that's where the no man land is. Yeah, that's you know I like I said I take care of that, so that's probably tied. Yeah, I would tie it right in and make it all seamless. Can't change it. I mean, you have part, you, you pay taxes both the Bonneville and the Barrington. That's a, a 
we just talking about that tonight. So you can see the little part of the property is over that. That will only be the stock part. When you get to that stock part, see, I drove there. there. But if you look at where the I'm trying to picture that, you know what I mean? There's I think it's running back. There's, 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 there's no stop sign there. There's no stop sign there. The nearest stop sign is at. On the other side of the street. On the other side. On the street. Leaving Cali with a stop sign, absolutely. If you come out of Cali, it's all across the street. But it's across the street from the south. It's across the street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the site triangle, if you're parked there, yeah, I don't think right, you're, you're, you know, yeah, there's, but then there's also there's a big nine oak tree there too. So I have to take that out, and it's going to hinder that hinders. And you're back, and you're back almost what 60 feet back. I don't know what the size is. You're coming all yeah, the way out to the are you coming out all the way to the front? Are you coming out that front corner of the house? No, I'm, 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 I'm it's same, the rear of the house. It's same off the, it's same, yeah, the rear, off the side, it's same right where it's at. It's not moving forward or back. Same you were coming there. to the front corner, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, there's a big tree there. I mean, that, and that's right, that's right on the side, that's a foot off the sidewalk. So, I mean, He's not going out. I know he's not. Let's get used to the stuff here. Are there any questions for the board? You plan to put a six foot fence in? Same style, just moving it out. Same fence? Yeah, same fence, just moving it out. Just change yeah, it back. Yeah, that's all. Just change it back. back. Mm -hmm. And no gates to pull cars in the back, Mr. Knight. Don't pull any cars. No, I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Are there any further questions? So we have, uh, we're going to look at uh, three variances. Uh, two, uh, two. Okay, two. Oh, yeah, we're, that, that because other he is permitted, to, permitted uh, yes. so the applicant is going to, uh, to move an existing six foot solid vinyl fence to within two feet of the uh, sidewalk running along Davis Road. Um, you're also going to consider granting the applicant a, six, uh, a variance to allow the continued use of the six foot uh, solid vinyl fence. Uh, where our ordinance requires a maximum of four foot on properties that are designated in, as having two front yards. Um, we're also going, he's going to request an variance that um, the fence can remain the existing uh, solid vinyl fence where our ordinance says in front, such, such front yards as provided, a chain link or see-through fence is the only one that are and it's just cleaning up basically what he probably when he put the fence up or whoever did that before just didn't do it at that time. But how long has it been in existence? Well, he's only been here since February. The house is 10 years old. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah, the house has been 10 years old, yes. So. And we cited the fence before, right? Yes, the, uh, the previous owner had leased it to a tenant who took it upon herself to relocate the fence yeah, without that's proper true. approval. Yeah, and and that's actually relocated true. back. Yeah. yeah, so the, the situation it is was Mr. Cross's uh, fault. Right. All right. Is there a motion on the floor to? Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Um. Yeah. Yeah. We'll open up to the public. Um, we have an application that if anyone wishes to speak on this application and this application only, uh, come on up and state your name and address and and be heard. Make a motion to close the public portion. Second. Miss, you don't intend to get up, right, for this? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Motion made and seconded. Call the portion of me and be closed. All in favor? Aye. All right. And I will now ask if there is a motion on the floor to accept the variances as read. All right. Motion. Second. Okay. Motion by Mr. Ockley, seconded by Mr. Pinella. May we have roll call, please? Mr. Pinella. Yes. Mr. Stone. Yes. Yes. Mr. Chelsea? Yes. Mr. Ronaldo? Yes. Mr. Ockley? Yes. Mr. Laverde? Yes. Mr. Ranieri? Yes. Mr. Pavano? Yes. 
All set. Um, go ahead and contact Mr. Knight when you're ready for the uh, to have it all staked out, and we'll come over and check it out for you. And good luck with that. Apply for the permit first. Is that yes? It? You want to apply? Yes. Okay. All right. Awesome. Okay. <coughs> All right, we have a good and welfare portion of the meeting. Anyone wishes to speak on any matter whatsoever, please come up to the microphone and state your name and address and be heard. Okay. I make a motion to close the topic. Second. Okay, a motion by Mayor Capato, seconded by Mr. Pachowski. All in favor to close the public portion and good and welfare? Aye. Uh -huh. All right, motion carried. Is there anything else you want to discuss this evening? I just bring up the exciting store order video. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you still have uh, I finished it. I did finish it. Okay, just send me an email that you did that. My uh, 2004 uh, update the new laws. I the nine the nine rules. I went over the test question. I have the two pictures right. Mr. Chassis, I talked to him ahead of time. Who else is? Uh, it was a, it was a, it was a two-handed project. I was trying to work and do it at the same time. Had a, you got guy keep, keep clicking next, next, next. Yeah, next. next. Yeah. I just wanted to stay engaged and keep going. And the next part. The next. The next part. I haven't read the second in a while. Yeah, next. Oh, well, will there be a sequel to that? Uh, Gee, I hope not. What's interesting? I would say what's interesting. I don't know how much it applies to a lot of stuff that comes in front of this board. It was interesting. It is interesting. Yeah, it was good. I thought the most interesting thing, just because, you know, we had to talk, was when it, it gave the example of impervious coverage versus pervious coverage, where if the water just runs off, it was 28,000 gallons yeah. of water yeah. just yeah. runs off. Versus but if you allow the water to run into the grass, it went down to 4,000. 4,000. It was 80%. Yeah, that was pretty cool. It was amazing. I was paying attention. You took notes? Well, someday I have to go in front of the planning board in Gloucester Township for my building, so I'm trying to learn all this stuff. Plants and grass, Nick. Plants and grass. grass. Actually, not grass. It's going to be a rain garden. There you go. Purpose. Purpose asphalt is very interesting. I don't know how well that works. Yeah, I want to know how that works when water gets in it and freezes. Yeah, I saw that too. How that was cool. The impervious asphalt. Yeah, it's flexible. It can't freeze. Right, so so it's it's not, but will it give when ice freezes? When ice freezes, sure, I don't think they put ice water freezes. You have to maintain that. You have to. Water. 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 Like when we live back in Tony we got a lot of natural trees and areas yeah. that, that allows the water to go away. But we still have a lot of water run down our road. It goes down real fast. Well before we adjourn, I just want to wish all all these wonderful gentlemen that I have the pleasure of seeing uh, happy Father's Day. And blessings to everyone out there, happy Father's Day. And I will uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. Mr. Laverty, uh, second by Mr. Ockley, all in favor? Aye. All right, meeting adjourned at 7.30.